We are here at the Creek Run. The first thing you have to do before you even hop on the machine is turn it around manually. You're not allowed to use reverse. One rider will race down the logging road while the other rider races down the creek. Where the paths cross, there's a fanny pack each rider has to put over their helmet. Then they'll race back on the opposite side so both riders will cover the same amount of logging road and creek run. So once the riders have made their down and back, they have to stop in this box, leave the vehicle, and head to the hype button. First person to press the button wins. Well, we just did the hill climb and definitely I'm starting to see more stuff where, you know, one machine definitely is better for something and other machines are terrible. And now we're at the creek run where we're gonna see some, some more, I think the machines that may not have been excelling in other areas are gonna excel here. I know which machine I wanna get. <laughs> I know which machines I don't wanna get. That's for sure. <laughs> Trailblazer needs to get a first place here. And I'm thinking this is the course where it could do it. Yeah, this is a pretty good course for the Trailblazer. Probably rides the smoothest out of all four of the quads. And this is rough. And both the Trailblazer and the Lakota have extra mud flaps even. So I feel like they're really made for this course. Yeah, Seriously. They are. Can't forget the stretch of logging road that we're taking with no water where we're going to have machines like Meatball and the Blaster really take advantage of their quickness and make up some time. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, let's pick machines. It's, uh, it's back around to me again, so I'll do the first pick here. I, I really want to pull the blazer for this one. <laughs> I just pull one, though. Yeah, it's just a patient. Ah, Holy crap. Come on. <laughs> again? This is, this is literally the worst pick. Ready? Yep. Go. Hey, oh, I got the I got Lakota. Hilarious. You got, oh, we all got something new <laughs> except for you. Like, I want kind of the underdog because I'm really good at riding. You really want the Polaris. That's the one. I dressed red to ride the meatball. So maybe we trade. Well, I want the Polaris, dude. I just, I honestly. Boom, let's do it. Let's trade them. Oh, trade. baby. Fair trade, my friend. Yes, because now everybody's on their first first time on their on this machine. Well, yeah. I've had the blaster, I but like I wanted the blaster. I warmed up on the blaster. I think I can get through this fairly quickly, and I think I can make up a lot of time on the logging road. Pete and Jake are probably the most you know, technical and best riders. I think it'll be more interesting for you guys to see the better riders on the harder, the machines that really aren't made for this type of terrain. Hopefully nobody floods. Let's do it. There's a couple parts that are like, I'm gonna say they're like two feet deep. It's really possible that somebody could take it in water. The creek run's gonna be pretty difficult. The suspension is gonna be a huge factor because it's so rocky. Turning the quads around in the beginning, I think it's gonna be a really big variable because, you know, we think that there's two machines, the Lakota and the Blazer are gonna have an edge here, but they're the heaviest machines. The event I'm most excited for is honestly the Creek Run because I think someone's legit gonna drown. All right, guys, let's get into the first round. It's me on the Blazer versus Jacob on the Blaster. Both of these machines are running no airbox lid, so we're gonna have to be careful in the water. Riders ready? Yes, sir. Ready already? Three, two, one, go. Oh my God. <laughs> He already has the blaster turned around completely. 500 pounds in the mud, this thing sucks. I didn't think you could grab the rear end. <laughs> I thought we were only grabbing front end. No, it didn't matter. Let's go, my go. You know, I think the Hawaiian shirt was a great idea. The shirts were great. I really think we should do black shirts, blue flames. Ricky from Trailer Park Boys, so that's what we gotta do next time. Yeah, it looks great. Whoa! Dude, oh, this thing man. is so, so heavy. That was pretty climactic. Uh, yeah. Man, let's hope nobody has any uh, bad times here. He's gonna make up a lot of time on this logging road. So I gotta go through that creek faster than shit. Get this thing on over the helmet. All right, here we go. Oh no! I just died. Suck it! Come on, baby. Mike just stalled out. I don't know what happened. Oh, 
I'm dead in the water. How are you gonna run a creek and not know that water's gonna get in the air box? Over the log, get it in neutral. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't really fit. Trailblazer might have died. I don't know what happened, but it shut off back there. <laughs> uh oh. Oh man. Hopefully he didn't swamp the air filter on that thing. Damn, man. Oh man, I took in a ton of water. Ride her down. <laughs> I did too. Nice. Well, this is going to be a DNF. We got water in the air box. I'm a little bummed. All right, everybody, uh, had some technical difficulties. The blazer ended up taking a little tidal wave and we realized we should probably have the air box lid on it. So we've got the spare air filter, new air box, or we added the air box lid back. The machine's running really good, we let it run. Blaster's back for round two, technically stable, had a D and F. If uh, Jake takes this one, then best two or three, Jake's got it, and the blaster will beat the blazer. I've got faith for the blazer on this one. Try to keep it above the water. It's a, here is a submarine. I know we have radios, but we're gonna start. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm Nobody said anything on the radio, they're like, goddamn Pete. Three, two, one, and go. Oh, the grab bar strategy oh, has become it, prevalent. Better. Now there I'm very scared. There we go. Now, oh, 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 look at that. You might have pinned him. Whoa. He did. Whoa. He pinned him. He's Whoa. Ah. Oh, man. Oh. Dude, Mike has no. Yeah. He, he's, he's all let thumb, man. I got to be careful, man. It's so easy to just want to go like balls to the wall. But we don't want the same thing to happen as last time. No way in hell, dude. Blaster. It's on its way. You hear the blazer, though. The blazer. Maybe close to the I can't bomb these puddles, so I was like chalking up the brakes and then just jumping the RPMs, waiting for me to roll through a puddle and then just get all over it again. That's no way. The blaster's really the blaster. close to us right now. You can see him. So no eyes on the blazer. Blazer's moving. There it is, we can see the blazer, the headlight's on. There it is. We should make him think he's got nothing but time. Wow, blaster so, man, look at all the water coming out. Oh, man. 
Man, it doesn't get much closer. That was close. I'm actually really surprised. Oh, nice wow. work. Nice work. I hopped off the quad and I heard <laughs> Dude, I gave it the beans Dude. on that vlogging. The rain X worked awesome. Yeah, for real. There's no <laughs> spots on Yeah, I did clear. slow down a little bit to wipe it once, but you would have smoked me anyway. <laughs> Dude, I, I honestly thought you were going to be standing here. I can't believe I even managed to catch up. I went through pretty fast. You can go through faster, but I was trying to be a little mindful. Yeah. But I still had water like. You were boogieing. You were boogieing. I was nervous. You might be able to just smash those puddles, but you'd have to, yeah, you're rolling the dice. Yeah, yeah, And maybe sure. I could keep up. But the fact that, I imagine you weren't going completely as fast as it could. You had to be no, doing like no, a little No, no, I was safe. chalking the brakes up at every puddle, and then as soon as I get out of them, I just ring it out. Yeah. And then this last like 50 feet, I was kind of risking it a little bit, because I was like, man, I, I feel like he's on me. I feel like he's on me. I he's saw not you getting off time. the quad. I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah. Dude, if I would have rolled through this, so my first time you didn't see, I slid through this and I had to push it back. If I'd have slid through this this time, I'd have had to push it back and you might have got me. Dude, and the other thing was, I learned how to turn that around the first time. The rear grab bar is way easier than the yeah. front because we yeah. almost had, I feel like it was pretty close. Yeah. I just barely left behind you. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. That was awesome. Damn. That was a good race, dude. That was good. <laughs> Heck yeah. Whose idiot idea was it to wear pineapple shirts on a creek thinking to be like, oh, it's funny because like it's tropical? I've never done this before, but I'm not worthy. I haven't earned it. I think I'm going to destroy the hype button. I just know that I literally am limited by the front end and I don't want to break my wrists. Low key, I wanted the 300DX because it's kind of like riding that old rickety roller coaster at the theme park where you don't know if you're going to die. And it's just kind of an adrenaline rush. And I figured, you know, creek bed's rocky. It has no front shocks. This could be pretty cool. The Lakota, I haven't had it yet. I've wanted it the entire time. I'm excited. Let's see what we can do. Riders ready. Three. Two, one, go! Kill switches and keys, guys. Kill switches and keys. Dude, this is so much. They went so different enjoyable. directions, didn't they? Ah. Didn't about the water to film and there he is the biggest splash of the day so I know far. right on a machine that has holes in the air <laughs> <laughs> that honestly is impressive that if he yeah, gets called back, back he's already coming back they both sound the same they're both 300 cc four strokes with dg pipes <laughs> we did that on complete accident And I'll tell you what, the Lakota, I think, is the safest when it comes to Probably. water. Probably. It's a tank, too. It's got pretty good suspension. Yeah. High power. I'd say arguably it's got maple knot. Okay, next the to torque. this. And no clutch is going to help on this. Yeah. Next to this, the um, Trailblazer, I'd say it's got the best suspension. Yeah, it's pretty plush for what it is. I see a helmet. I think I just saw some helmet glare. I see nothing. Oh, here comes. Oh, Jesse just bombed a big one. He's coming in hot. Dude. Slamming him. Where's Pete at? We have a neck and neck. Come on, Jesse. Jesse's coming in hot on the Lakota. I think Jesse's oh, got shit. It. oh, shit. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, shit, dude. <laughs> oh, oh, push it back. Push it, push it back. Push it push back. back. Push, it push it back. Push it back. Push it back. Come on, come on. Run, 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 run. 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 Go, 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 go. go. Oh, Pete <laughs> slides. <laughs> Oh man! Woo! Oh my God, dude! There's not a bit of dirt on the Lakota. You just literally gave that thing a pressure wash, dude. Do I have to put the shirt back on? Dude, I feel like we didn't hit those puddles hard enough. Right Look at him! Just as wet as me. Oh my God! Woo, boys! 
Pete, you hit this like freaking tidal wave over here. <laughs> and then Jesse, it was like multiple tidal waves coming over the hills. You both went way harder than we did. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Pete, you look pretty excited, man. It was fun. And <laughs> I'm the only one that's keep saying, don't wheelie into the water. I did that on like the third crossing. So I just let it all hang out. <laughs> the Lakota is waterproof. I was fearless on the Lakota. Absolutely fearless. I let it hang out pretty good too, and I don't know how waterproof that thing is. It was kind of starting to get. We might bubbly. want to check air boxes before if we do another run. Do we I just give them first and run. second? Dude, that was crazy. <laughs> Dude, I don't want to do a third. Cardio. <laughs> yeah, All we right, got to switch up the order now. Let's check the air boxes. Oh, so much in my boots. Oh, this is the whole thing. He's doing that on every. You got one a little. Oh yeah, you got. Oh, you got some water in there. You really got lucky, man. That could have choked you out. I was starting Probably to because you were ripping so damn hard. Honda reliability. I don't know how you guys didn't get that wet. <laughs> we didn't, didn't go that hard. It's hard. <laughs> I think you're going to realize we're going to lose. Well, I had to slow down for some of the hard hits. Big time. It's really bad going two miles an hour if you hit a stick. So going really fast, you just kind of brace for impact and hope for the best. The bumps aren't as bad going down the creek. They're worse going up. Thanks. Thanks for the pep talk there, Peter. Well, you don't need it. Thanks for the pep track. talk, you dingus. All right. Quads are in neutral. Three, two, one, go! Oh, oh Pete's gotta go. drag his uphill. You can, can really Jesse see the Jesse heaving the weight of that <laughs> Lakota. Oh, Jesse's off first. So, oh my gosh, dude. I think Jesse's gonna take it, dude. He damn near, dude, he is crushing it. I saw Jesse leave. And the tidal waves were like 10 feet in the air. Jesus! So, <laughs> something to note. Last, the first run, Pete got the hit on the launch, and Jesse got the hit this time. It was blowing up creek, but I don't think it's gonna be. It's a not slowing it I down. I don't think it's gonna be a factor. Jesus! Dude, I'm telling you, he, 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 those wheels did not even hit the bottom of the creek bed. I, whoever wins this is first place. Yeah. He's <laughs> oh shit. Just a classic case of you can do everything perfectly when you're not under pressure, but as soon as you have to put a machine in neutral, you just can't. It's like, is it, am I in third gear? It's just a disaster trying to get that thing in a neutral. I'm pretty confident that Jesse has this. Unless something goes wrong. Jesse wants it. I hear one engine. Jesse wants a bat. Oh, the fanny pack. Uh, no, the meatball, yeah, I died at the fanny pack here too. That's good. That means Pete's just putting his fanny pack on. Yeah, and you know what you know for. Like they may have even crossed pants. They may have even crossed pants. Seems quiet. Sounds like we'll go to start it back. There it comes. Let's go. Oh, man, they're going to be neck and neck again. That's coming from the logging room, it sounds like. I think Jesse's going to do that. They're going to be neck and neck again. We don't see Pete. I have a lane here. I can already see, see, I see Jesse. You're kidding. No, I just saw his helmet glimmer. He's here he comes. I don't see Pete. Jesse's got this No one. eyes on Pete. Slow Listen down. He slows down. <laughs> take your time. Oh, take your time. Pete is oh, nowhere. Slow down, slow down. Pete is nowhere to be Push found. Push it back. Push it back. You got like a foot. Push it like a foot. Come on. Go, 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 Pete go. Pete is go. nowhere to be found. Oh man. Here he comes. I just got oh, some. What I just got eyes asshole. on Pete. Are you gonna wait for him? Oh, I thought you were gonna wait for him and press it in his face. <laughs> what an Here asshole. Here comes Pete. Hammering it to the end. Oh man. Still slamming puddles. I'm sure he didn't go slow. Well, Something maybe, happened. Maybe a little bit. Something happened. He lost. <laughs> oh man. Dude. That was the longest, like, 15 seconds ever trying to get neutral. <laughs> I went no, off no, course. No way. No. The part where we, like, taped up and then you put your little X, I come off that ledge. Ooh. And just, oh, you went through the X? Yep. Excellent. <laughs> yep. Dude, we were watching you go through here, and it literally, to me, looked like the wheels weren't going to the bottom of the creek. <laughs> I'm just so fast. A hydroplane, you know? I was pulling at least 95 through there in the 18th gear. Right. <laughs> I deserved win. Nah, I deserved win. Dude, you, race, Pete. I will never forget my Meatball Creek run until I die. Jesse looks like he's on his favorite ride at Six Flags, Typhoon 3. 
<laughs> I predict that Jake is going to flood the blaster because you know he's not going to go easy. Oh, because he's going to want to beat me so bad. Because I'm I'm nowhere near the rider he is. Like I'm not like a slouch, but he's really good. And that machine is it's obviously faster than this one, but for what we're doing, this is kind of suited for it. Yeah, it's I would say, arguably say it is the most well suited because even the blazer. With the airbox lid, it's got like a lower duct, and right. you could get air. This is so high up, and yeah, it's like the confidence of being able to hit it as hard as you want. Yeah. I think I can really kill the logging road, and then I'm yeah. just gonna have to sprint between puddles. I can't bomb them yeah, half as hard as they are. I mean, this has a lot of sprinting power, so I don't know. Limber up, man. I don't want to pull a hamstring. This is gonna be a good one. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Oh man, this is where he needs, Jacob needs to get moving. I think this is my favorite part. I like this part. Ooh, look at that simultaneous oh, man. Ah! Whoa, yes, he actually got the jump. So just from watching here, you know, you just get to see you guys go. You guys literally both went at least twice as fast as that on the creek side. He's, he's gonna have to have no mistakes. At the fanny pack, maybe if he can grab that and just skate right through and just crush the logging road, you might have a chance to do. I don't know. The blast is not that much quicker than this. Jesse's feeling it right now. He's running on uh, uh, adrenaline. Just stoked. Just like, he's in it. He's got a machine that's capable of finding it. Yeah. And I think if he has confidence, it feels good on that machine. Probably have all the machines. That's the ride that right now. until it spun around and I was halfway back and it was just in my mouth. <laughs> dude, he's on the line. Holy crap, look at the water in the air. Oh my God. Dude, this, you're seeing this for the first time, dude. This is, I hear the blaster. Whoa. The blaster. Whoa, dude, he almost, I think he almost flipped it over. Let me see that, let me see that. One. Wow. Here comes Jake. Wow. Wow. Oh man. Oh, he's still in the square. Jake, make it. Come on, Jake. Come on, Jake. Come on, wow. come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> come on. Oh, winner, 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 chicken dinner. Oh. <laughs> oh, dude. oh my god! Take two steps and I just wipe out completely. So I just laid there and gave up. There I'm gonna go. buy a side by side. No! <laughs> you had to be hauling ass, bro. I got the strap of the thing in my mouth. I threw it right in my face. It's on my goggles. I couldn't get it off. Yeah, it was kind of a, a bad deal. Didn't work out for me. <laughs> I think I can get him. I want oh, another wow. one. He's talking some smack. I look over and he's just laying on the ground and he's got a fanny pack gag in, <laughs> making all the excuses in the world. <laughs> My victory is undeniable. You want to switch sides? Yes. You feel better on the other side? Yeah, let's switch oh, sides. He wants another run. You got to do this yes, again. Yes, you shake it in your boots over there. A little bit. How many times do I have to win before it's undeniable? <laughs> <laughs> Did you have any mess ups this time though? Oh yeah, I, I almost got stuck. You almost stuck. crashed right there, didn't you? Yeah, I almost got stuck to where I would have not been able to finish. You think you were pushing a little too hard? For sure. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> that was a damn good race, dude. Yeah, I'm kind of in shock. I don't have a lot to say right yeah, now. Yeah, I mean, we saw his tidal waves coming up and then I was listening for two stroke, but the blaster's not as loud yeah. as the, uh, the Lakota. And I could hear the ting in and I was like, dude, Jacob's coming. <laughs> that was my worst put on of this thing for sure like really really far why is it so hard for these guys to put on a fanny pack you just put it over your helmet strap it to the back and ride 
We'll get right back to the finale, but first, I want to thank you for making it this far into the video. I'd also like to thank the companies that helped to make Top Quad possible. Thank you to PeteHager.com for parts, Rocket Rod Racing for suspension, Zoom Zoom for parts, DRW Performance for skid plates and case savers, Rocky Mountain ATV for parts, and we'd like to give a special thank you to Kenda for supplying tires for every one of these machines. Kenda tires are sweet. My least favorite thing about tires is when they bite in a power slide when you don't want them to, and that hasn't happened once. Definitely solid tires, and they look cool. I've always liked the tread patterns on them. Plus, they put colored logos on the side of their tires, which is a big deal. Most companies don't do that. I'd also like to give a special thank you to Todd at 725 Designs. You'll notice that all of these machines have custom graphics on them. I made the designs, sent them to Todd, and he printed them out, making for an easy professional installation. The quality is top notch, and if you can't design your own graphics, that's no problem. Todd can do it for you. Check them out on Instagram at 725 Designs. Make sure to let them know that I sent you. All of the links to sponsor websites will be listed in the description below. If you're enjoying the video so far, liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing all help out a ton. We love making these videos, but it's a ton of work, and together the creators drive thousands of miles and work hundreds of hours to make this content for the off-road community. If you're looking for a way to support and help us, please consider subscribing to my friends' YouTube channels, Pete Hager, 700R Raptor Life, Brewer Off-Road, and of course, my YouTube channel. Tyrese from 700R Raptor Life wasn't able to make this year's show, but he did help out by supplying the meatball. You can also show your support by picking up some official Top Quad merch with your favorite machine on it. Links will be in the description below. Good. Here we go. Seem confident. Three, Getting me ready. two, one, go! Oh man, this could be the game. This is my right favorite here. part, I swear. This is my favorite part. Both are killing it, man. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Jake. That was is that was very on. good for Jake. Very good for Jake. I see what he did. I see what he did. He had the Kickstarter already pulled out to the side and everything. Alright, let's get over dude. He was in like third gear by the time he even started going. This is this may put an end to the Lakota's reign here. Shit, 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 shit. I can't see him because the blaster is so small. There's not really anything I could do, but hang on and hope he moves. Oh, shit! He boned me into the creek. He didn't actually hit me, but that was like, look at his heart. He said, It's on the brakes. Oh, he's, he's, he's got to push it back. He's got to push it back. Here comes he. Oh, man. Oh. He knows. He saw him on the road. Well. Jesse ran me off the trail in the deep water. He ran me off the trail in the deep water on a blind corner. And so I was like, well, shit. <laughs> Look at him nodding his head. He's like, yes, I just did. Swallowed water and it blurbed a little bit. So I was like, I'm just going to ease it back. Oh, dude. We saw him coming down way sooner than the last time. And I was like, oh, man. Dude, I crushed the logging road. Yeah, Got did. down there, threw this fanny pack on. I was in first. First kick, launched out, jumped down into the creek, and he runs me off the damn trail. Where you were at, I didn't see you. 
because you're so low. You're hidden by that bank, and I come over the top and was like, oh shit. Like, he was this close to just jumping on top of me. Yeah. Dude, your start was epic, though. It was, yeah. It was awesome. You were in third gear before he even punched the throttle. <laughs> you were like way down the yeah. road. I really yeah. thought that like you, you might have a chance there. I thought I did too, till he tried to kill me. I mean, I was in motion. There was no, I couldn't have stopped. No, it, was, it, was, it was intense. Yeah. He had no choice but to run you off the road. So this is the second time that Jesse's tried to kill me in two days. So the Lakota has officially won the creek run. Top quad champ. Only at the top. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had a blueberry milkshake? No, honestly, it sounds disgusting. I don't, I've never really understood the name. I don't think anybody ever will. Do you understand any of the names? Like, why'd they name them after food? I don't know, because I'm hungry all the time. You named them? No. Okay guys, so we know that Jesse and the Lakota are the fastest in the creek run, but we had to know whether the Trailblazer or the 300EX was quicker in the creek, so we did the loser's bracket with Pete and I. Turn day, turn day, turn day. Three, two, one, go! Whoa, why is it in the mud? <laughs> oh no, Mike's getting after it on the dirty. cool ranch. He might leave before <laughs> Pete. Oh shit. Ah, he didn't turn it up! No. Just so he could do that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he said, I think it can bomb, bomb the puddles. We're gonna find out. Yeah. That's what poor maintenance does for you. So I heard something die. Did you hear the meatball? Like, I think the meatball back. Not turned back on. Yeah. Or it turned off. He was like fighting it for a second. He probably didn't have it neutral whenever he put the fanny pack on. Maybe. That's there's also it. water on this. Yeah, but there's, there's more than you think. Yeah. And I actually got a little blurb on the water turns from the lava road coming back. Yeah, because if you follow the natural line, which I'm sure you do, of uh -huh. like the kind of sway and yeah. you do cross through it. So. I don't the hear meat? the meatball. There it goes. There it comes up. He's running? Running? He just running? Oh, the meatball's right here. <laughs> what the hell happened? <laughs> the meatball's 300 yards this way, and Pete Hager's right here. <laughs> oh, hey, stand there like you want. Stand there like you want. He can't see the quad. Yeah, he can't see the quad. Coming in hot. You gotta stop, you gotta stop! Stop! Nice stop! Perfect stop. <laughs> oh my god. What happened? All the spracker bolts sheared off. <laughs> <laughs> no shit! <laughs> there is no strategy if you're riding the 300 dx it's just survive. And unfortunately, I didn't survive. All the sprocket bolts. Yeah, there's only one in there. All of a sudden, chain dropped. I'm running through the gears. I'm hitting limiter. <coughs> uh, Wait, what I happened? Down. All this, he sheared all the sprocket bolts Stared off and ran the course on foot. Well, I ran from where I was, but I moved. To the no way. <laughs> I moved to the creek to make it fair, so I ran back on the road. I got to the fanny pack, so I was like, dude, where is he? Yeah. At first, I was like, I'm crushing him, <laughs> and then I was like, all right. It broke. <laughs> and, then saw, and then you saw it sitting there. It's just sitting on the side of the road. I was like, damn. I almost never let off in the yeah. creek. Yeah. Through the water and everything. I was just like, mm -hmm, sh -sh 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 -sh. <laughs> and I didn't stop because I want to compare the times. Yeah. We have to do it by times. This is what happens when you don't maintain your ATV. <laughs> Something like that happens. The only way I can beat Pete Hager <laughs> is machine brakes. <laughs> 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 
Oh, shoot. That was awesome. I think Pete <laughs> just got fourth. <laughs> I did. But I wasn't going to let it be on that thing's terms. I came back. That thing didn't even make it back. I at least Damn. made it back. You just left it back there. <laughs> it's stranded. It's cold and lonely, Pete. Damn. We're like, where's Pete at? And, oh, we think we heard it start up. And he goes, he's running back. And we're like, what do you mean? He's running back. That's a wrap. Right, right. That's a wrap. Out. That's a wrap, you diggers. Hey. Dude, come on. I'm not cold anymore. You can't not be happy about this. Man, what an awesome way to finish up the series. The standings for the Creek Run are the Blueberry Milkshake in first place with two minutes and 10 seconds. The Crispy Chicken Sandwich came in second with two minutes and 12 seconds. The Cool Ranch came in third at two minutes, 15 seconds. And the Meatball came in last with two minutes and 16 seconds. All relatively close times and an awesome course to run. So the final standings are the Blueberry Milkshake in first place with 16 points. The Crispy Chicken Sandwich comes in second at 14 points. Third place is the Meatball with 12 points and in last place, is the Cool Ranch 250 with eight points. We enjoyed riding all of these machines though, and we consider them all winners. As far as rider placing, Pete came in first with 16 points. I was in second with 13. Jacob came in third at 11. And Jesse, with that epic first place in the Creek Run, brought him up to 10 points. That'll be it for Top Quad 3. Stick around to the end of the video if you want to hear our thoughts on which machine we would pick when we were kids, and also some other thoughts on the series. That'll be coming up next. If you enjoyed this series, please give it a thumbs up, and also remember to check out my friend's channels, Pete Hager, Brewer Off-Road, and 700R Raptor Life. Dude. Oh my god, dude, look at that sprocket. I want to see it too. Wow. I think that's better so than did, I could do, Pete. It actually, no, it did. I thought it ripped, sheared the teeth off. Oh, wow, look at how bent it is. Yeah. It actually, I guess it ripped the bolts out. Yep. <laughs> no, the teeth aren't that worn. If on you that look thing. at the, the threads on this bolt, look at that. And these are lock nuts. Y'all really needed to bring me out there. That would've be so cool. I'm a great quad drifter. <laughs> Netflix, give these guys a deal, please. This is really entertaining. Hands down, if I was in this comp, LOL, I'd whoop everybody's ass with the 400EX. Hands down, better frame geometry. <laughs> Damn, I wanna see Tyrese hit that jump. That's messed up. Thank you for your feedback. You won gifts. Message me using my name above on Telegram. App only. Mike could build one heck of a bike. Just needs a little more seat time. LOL. Now you looking at me. I hope you boys ride your ladies better than them there wheelers. Ha 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 ha. Another good video. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all should give Lucas transmission fluid stabilizer fix and stop leaking it a chance inside of that four-wheeler before changing it out of the clutch pack instead of it first, or at least add it in the replacing it with a new clutch pack. Michael, have you ever added in some Lucas transmission fluid stabilizer fix with stop leaking blended in with your transmission oil or fluid it blends and mixes with different types of oils and fluids stayed on the outside of the bottle to print it on them? <laughs> that's a real, that's a real person. <laughs> this is way cooler than watching a bunch of dip nozzles and glamis, lol. <laughs> What's a dip nozzle? <laughs> Dude, that was one hell of a finale. Indeed it was. I am shocked at how much fun that was and just the results. Yeah, Jesse won. You're shocked won. by that? <laughs> yeah, I took three L's and one W. Dude, that was a hell of a way to take a, your W though. I think we achieved what we wanted to achieve. We have now ridden these machines in enough, enough scenarios and have enough seat time that I could confidently say that the most well-rounded machine, it's gotta be the Lakota. I mean, it was the only one that if you pulled it, no matter what the event, you weren't like, oh, shit. Yeah. Like, like you, you, you had a positive experience with it, at least. And I don't know. I was banging my knees on it. I just didn't feel that fluent at times. But the machine is super capable. It is really hardy. Predictable. Yes. Yeah, that's, and yeah, actually, that's probably the best word for it. You know, it's not going to do anything funky at all. It's yes. A, it's a sweet machine. Yeah, and I think we all, at some point in time, you know, we were making fun of it, saying how, like, heavy it was. 
but the front end is so heavy, it always stays planted. It doesn't really want to push in the corners. I mean, we had mm. it out in the snow and the mud, all yeah. kinds of stuff. It's at, been through the ringer. Yeah, at this point, like every really circumstance you're going to come across with a sport ATV, and it seemed to handle everything just fine. Here I go from never having seen one, never experienced one, to like, if I had to have a machine in that displacement size, it'd be hard to pick anything else. Yeah. It's a hardy unit. We were even <laughs> saying earlier, I think it was, uh, somebody said like, I think I would go for the Mojave. Because the Mojave 250, if you guys don't uh, know what that is, it's basically the exact same thing as the Lakota. I think it has like a, a one inch shorter wheelbase, but it has a more aggressive engine. It's a 250 liquid cooled and it makes higher horsepower, but it's a full manual and it's a kickstart. And I don't think it has reverse. I don't think so. But um, I was saying, it, then after the creek run, Jesse's like, I don't know if I'd want Yeah, because that's that. one more factor you got to think about. Like, especially when you were bombing it like I was, <clears throat> everything's soaked. So if you're reaching for a, another lever and trying to, it's just another variable that you can mess up. If the Lakota had the sport clutch, like the new 250 EXs yeah. have, to where you can use just the normal drive like that, or you can pop the clutch and jump the RPMs, but you don't ever kill it. Yeah, that's that thing would be like the ultimate stolen. little machine. But even though the Polaris didn't do very well, that thing rides really nice. Like if I was to like have a lineup of the quads and hey, we're gonna go ride trail all day and I don't I don't know what to expect, but it's like I know I'm gonna be comfortable on this thing. It should still be fun. Obviously, we're used to having more power and that's what we would prefer with our yeah. ability level. Even though it didn't do that great, it's a pretty awesome quad. Yeah, I mean, it was like the perfect quad for me to calm down. Like I kept getting nervous at every run, every run, every run. And like, by the time I hit the pine trees on that thing, I was just like, there's no reason to be nervous. You can't go any faster than this. You can't override this machine, That's really. the best way to put it. You can't override it. The old it's meatball. The old meatball. We definitely felt, I know I thought that was the most powerful quad. Uh, so much so that we suspect that maybe even there's like a cam or something in it. It just hits really hard. It's got really snappy power, super mm -hmm. powerful. I mean, maybe... 300 EXs actually are that fast, but I feel like it was faster than a 400 EX. I don't know about a 400 just because, like I said before, I think maybe because it's the fastest thing we've been riding for a week. Yeah, that's true. That it just felt that crazy, but it definitely was by far more powerful. I, didn't, I actually didn't get to compete on it at all. I got to kind of rip around a little bit. Uh, so, I mean, I've seen the tires wobble and almost fall off of the thing. <laughs> And then now the rear sprocket falls off of the thing. So it's definitely whomped out and needs some love. But when I mess around in the field a little bit there, it seemed like you had some serious advantage in power as long as you could keep that thing on the trail. As long as it was pavement, the thing was going to do great. <laughs> yeah, we, were, we all agreed that you couldn't ride it confidently. No, no absolutely like, not. Except in the drag race. That was the only, like, there was just, it didn't matter. But like, even like uh, I had it in Monster Jam, every yeah. single one of those bales, I was afraid to fully commit. And that's where you lose all your time is in the corners. So like the suspension would just give out on the one side and the, then that with the, uh, the aggressive tires and the 22s mm -hmm. in the back, yeah. it just felt like it wanted to roll. Yeah. And there were no heel guards, no nerfs. So I'm like, then I'm starting to think about safety. The pegs were around are all smoothed yeah. out. So your boots are slipping off. Mm -hmm. So all that stuff comes into play. With the blaster, I think the biggest thing with that is like the size. Yeah. I'm the sure. smallest one of us here, height wise anyways. I mean, what, Pete's maybe like an inch or two taller than me. And I felt like I didn't fit on that thing. My knees were constantly hitting up front. And I remember Jacob in the beginning, he's like, I, I've got the secret. In order to really lean, you had to like take your foot off the peg and do yeah. all this weird stuff. And almost like set up for corners like setting up for a setup. Whereas mm -hmm. with another machine, you're just getting yeah. set up. Yeah, and it's really awkward because, you know, you're dipping down to one side and you want to lift this leg and this leg has all the weight on it. But in order for your knee and hip to fit down in there, you've got to bring your knee up. And so now you have no feet on any peg of the four-wheeler. Right, and if it was the right, if you were, if you were like, if you fit on that machine, you wouldn't even be thinking about this stuff. No. Yeah. You'd just be riding. Yeah. Nope. It was never something that ever crossed into my mind riding a four-wheeler, ever. And then I rode it around the field for a second. I was like, oh, man, I'm sitting on top of this thing. I can't move. Yeah, yeah. But otherwise, I think that was a pretty well-rounded machine. As long as you could, you know, manipulate the power, right? That was, it was really aggressive. People say pogo sticks. I wouldn't describe the Blaster as pogo sticks. I, I think the Blaster rides better than my 07 400DX does. It definitely makes less noises. <laughs> Definitely makes less noises. And speaking of noises, riding the meatball without a helmet on was terrifying. Because you could hear all the noises, 
Mm-hmm. So like when it I wrote it down, very to, metallic. When I restocked the fanny packs on my way back, I was going slow, and I was like, "Man, this is terrifying." This <laughs> yeah, this thing. it's bad when my dad says something like, "Man, that thing's kind of noisy." It's like, <laughs> no, he said that thing sounds like it's about to fall apart. Yeah, that's what he said. <laughs> I think like every bushing and, and needle bearings and the A arms and the steering, like everything's just it's gone. Something that I saw in the comments a ton though, people were like, "Oh, how come you're not doing a Warrior? How come you're not doing an LT230S?" We can't do every machine. So like we had to kind of, we did a lot of like kind of vote based stuff. And then yeah. we wanted machines that you could still get parts for. So like the Suzuki, a Z250 is, I think wouldn't be competitive enough. And uh, especially after the series and seeing what these machines could do. Cause we have 250 EXs here. Yeah. And they just, they would have been dogs. No. Even against the Blazer, I think it would have been, the Blazer probably yeah. would have edged him out. Maybe in like, maybe in like Monster Jam or something, maybe. Hill climbs and creek jump and drag race they're just gonna get stomped right and whether that they, they may be competitive or not that wasn't the thing like we could only do so many machines we, we put in a ton of work to get all this stuff ready get all the machines ready you could see like the meatball wasn't exactly ready it's, it's hard to get all these pieces put together so i know a lot of you guys want to see you know these some of these machines that weren't in the, the show to be on it but that's just how it is but they maybe in the future we'll do other ones lt230s that's another one i saw suggested a lot you just can't get parts for them so yeah all right i want to go down the line here uh, we'll start with Jake. Do you have a funniest moment from filming the last few days? I think the funniest thing was when Pete and Jesse first took off for the creek run, and Mike and I looked at each other, and we were like, holy shit. Oh! <laughs> oh! Whoa, dude! <laughs> they are bombing these puddles like they're just throwing waves three feet over the top of their head and mike and i just went and we're like cruising through the puddles and we looked at each other like we just lost <laughs> we just lost we gotta do this completely different now when we were doing the hill climb and uh mike's doing his run and pete turns around and goes was i going that slow pete said was i going that slow <laughs> what an ass <laughs> It was so genuine. <laughs> it was so genuine. Matt was like putting up a sign or something and he started slipping and falling at the exact same time that Jesse's playing around, like acting like the hill's really steep and he's slipping. But they were five feet apart and they both felt literally identical times. It looked like it was no staged. The other, was the other one was when you left it in neutral. Mm. That was pretty funny. Three, two, one, go! Oh, he left it in neutral! <laughs> we had just been talking about it right beforehand, like, oh, that'd be pretty nuts yeah, if that happened. Backwards. Yeah, <laughs> just just can it backwards. You know, that would have been great too. I'm just kind of really stuck on my experience on the meatball today. I'm just kind of have like PTSD from that. That machine gave us a lot to talk about, and we had a lot of fun moments talking about that quad. So it's hard to pinpoint a particular time because there was many times when just talking about its basic performance had us on the ground practically, because it was just that clapped. So. Uh, <laughs> Oh my god, this four wheeler is such a piece. Dude, they're, this thing literally, you're better off just like welding it all together and just having it be rid. There is no strategy if you're riding the 300VX, it's just survive. Well, the meatball is kind of a disaster, and I think it was very fitting for you to be piloting it. I feel like that guy in Dodgeball that's by himself and he's got to get angry. Like, that's what I got to do to get amped to ride this thing. Okay. Grab any shock, and if it bolts, if the, bolt, if the bolt fits through the hole, any shot go on there and it's better than that. Let's go to Walmart and get a bike shot. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've ridden my fair share of quads and that one takes the cake by worst front end by a landslide. It's a notch above having welded rods in there. <laughs> I don't care about that 300VX. <laughs> I will she say said. the correct answer was the rider to rider out at Monster Jam. <laughs> because, be, because Jake didn't know that Jesse was doing it. They weren't facing each other. Like Jake was... 20 feet away with his back to Jesse and they're both just talking gibberish, but it like somehow crossed over and it was just perfect. We rewatched it in the garage and I was crying. I watched it six times and I was still crying. I think he's too hoobies are gonna be having Gonna race his very no old friends to the top quad king. Michael Sabo by Tar quad he gets stomped. Pre Hager. Ryder to Ryder. Out. That was like the one of the funniest moments that none of us even knew about until we were we were reviewing the footage. Yeah. That was the best part. I didn't know what happened. Did you have a favorite event 
especially like between Monster Jam and Creek Run being kind of unique? It was definitely Monster Jam and Creek Run were the highlights. I was really looking forward to the Creek Run. I definitely didn't know I was going to just take the meatball, but I guess I woke up just saying I want the meatball today. <laughs> That's a really weird thing to say. For me, was uh, Monster Jam because the whole layout was very cool. With the, it was the first time we had like straw bales and we had like the bale covers and everything. And we even went out at nighttime with like the LED lights and everything and kind of had it lit up almost like a stadium. What made that one so fun was that you could at any point in time look over and see where your opponent was. So it was like super competitive. And I really, really liked that. But the creek run, man, like I knew it would be fun, but the intensity that was brought to that event was insane. And it was my only dub, so how can it not be my favorite? So my favorite one to compete in, to ride on, has to be Ragnarok. I've put literally thousands of laps on that course. And I've put thousands of laps on that course because I love that course. Let's say if you could get one brand new off the showroom floor. Back in your childhood, then you could pick any one of these machines to show up your friends. Which one would it be? Not which one's the fastest, which one you have the most fun on, but you can still spank your buddies. My choice was gonna be the blaster. When I come out of the creek and hit the logging road, and you're just cracking second, cracking third, cracking fourth, and then like, you grab fifth and it just keeps going. Like, I had a 89 250R and in the back of my head, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm back. You know, it's like, it's not that fast, but it has that same kind of rev, it has that same sound and like, if I was a little kid and somebody was just like, here, I'd, I would lose my mind. If it was new off the showroom floor, we were raised Honda so hard. Like if you weren't riding a Honda, it was trash. Like that's what we were raised. We didn't know why. We just knew that Honda was the best and that's what we were told. So if I would have seen that, I'd been like, oh yeah, for sure, we're going to 300EX. When I was a kid, I remember ragging on everybody that had a blaster because you could get them for like three, $400. For some reason, I just remember if you had a blaster, that was like a jank quad, which isn't true at all. I think if it was back then and I was, you know, like five foot, 510 pounds, I think if I was half the weight, it'd be even more fun. Oh yeah. And I really just enjoy riding two strokes and you can be competitive with it. And I also think if you grew up riding that, you'd arguably be the better rider because you're just used to working the power band and Mm -hmm. Some of these other machines you can lazy ride, so I would ch I would choose the blaster. I hate to agree, but I have to agree, mainly because you brought it back to like kid terms. That one probably looks the coolest out of them, and I think I felt the most like a kid when I was riding it around. Like you guys saw me, I was just blipping that thing all the time. It's just so satisfying. It revs so fast. Man, it's fun to rev these things. Yeah. Just crazy short gears, but that's fun because you're banging gears. So as a kid. That would probably have to be the pick for most fun factor. Well, you know, we're talking about the quads the whole time, but we did have individual placings. So fourth place, my man, Jesse. Top five. But best overall W at the Creek Run, in my opinion. Yeah, that was epic. Third place goes to Jake. Huge upset. I didn't Possibly. even have a dub. Possibly choice of machines. <laughs> or, you know, not choice, but, you know. Luck of the draw. Yeah, luck of the draw. Then I came in second. And Pete, you're the top quad champion for top quad three. <laughs> it's not gonna get better than that. <laughs> I can just do the. <laughs> God, where's that? You just cut the, you cut the audio on that one. You're doing a great job so far in the series, Jesse. Back to the camera. The only thing this series is missing is a warrior. <laughs> I was just like, Every <laughs> oh. I think it's more of it's more of a dying goat, like. <laughs> 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 Congratulations, aha mamma. Do you know what Yamaha stands for? You know, I always thought it stood for you and me are hauling ass. Biggest trail artist in this whole field, Jacob Brewer. Jacob Brewer, I agree. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Danger. I got a question for you. Do you like mayo on your crispy chicken sandwich? Absolutely not. You've got to be kidding me. Everybody throw one at once. Try to say. 
I think there's a lot of dinguses out here that just don't really know how to feather a semi-clutch. Congratulations. I cow so lucky. No cap. Dead. Hey, that's brand new Sunstar chain and sprockets. <laughs> Ah, oh, good thing those are made for racers, and we're not racers.